Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhaktivedanta Swaminiti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschaptade Shatarine. I've been asked to speak for three or four minutes by Divyanama Prabhu about <clears throat> the initiative to distribute at least 50,000 Bhagavad Gita's in the next few months, October, November, December 2020 throughout uh, United Kingdom and certain other countries of Western Europe. Three or four minutes is definitely not enough time to express my appreciation, ecstasy, enthusiasm for this superb endeavor inspired by <clears throat> Srila Vaisheshika Prabhu, whose life is distributing Srila Prabhupada's books, reading Srila Prabhupada's books, living Srila Prabhupada's books, and encouraging others to do so. My prostrated obeisances many, many times at his lotus feet and at the lotus feet of all the devotees who are taking up this initiative to do it somehow or other, even though you can't go out on the streets and the offices as usual, but it can be done by Zoom and all, whatever, all this internet kind of thing. <clears throat> so great distributors, Bhagavad Gita, why Bhagavad Gita? There are so many books of Srila Prabhupada. It's superb to put Bhagavad Gita in the forefront, as Srila Prabhupada did in his, in his preaching to the public. It's mostly Gita philosophy. It's the first <clears throat> major book that Srila Prabhupada uh, had translated and published for distribution, widespread distribution to the public. <clears throat> it's the message that everyone needs to hear at all times, all places, all circumstances, but especially during this pandemic. I'm sure many of the speakers who you're invited are talking about this, that <clears throat> apart from the pandemic, people are more and more becoming fed up of the whole way of life that, that, that's being thrust upon them throughout the world. People are looking for answers. There are many, many people out there looking for answers, and there, uh, and there are many, many people who are giving useless, rubbish, half-baked answers, talking in a very vague way about love and compassion and empathy. And when people get Bhagavad Gita, they'll find, oh yeah, look, Arjuna, very good, he doesn't want to fight. And then Krishna shocks him and shocks the average reader that what a fool you are talking about all this love and compassion, ka priti syajjanadana, all this, ka what rubbish you're talking, you don't know what you're talking about. So it's a good slap from Krishna. Uh, why will people take it seriously? Well, they can see, this is not just someone, he went to some, some uh, personality development seminar or life coaching seminar and blah, 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 with no meaning whatsoever, no depth to it, something half, at most half-baked coming out of the New Age. This is authentic. Srila Prabhupada, he had it printed with the Devanagari script, word by word translation, verse translation, commentary, giving the insights of all the previous Acharyas and from various Shastras. This is authentic. This is the real thing. And the result, we'll see, the real thing is that so many people take up devotional service by reading this Bhagavad Gita as it is. So what can I say? I'm over time. Don't have enough time. I don't want to take up your time because you have important work to do. So take this up. Do it. Distribute 50,000, 500,000, 5 million. Every town and village, every house, every person should have... Bhagavad Gita as it is. Hare Krishna.